Hello everyone. Those who follow my channel know that now I am uploading lecture series on complex analysis. Now in this video, I will tell you a completely different thing. In this video, I'll tell you what we mean or how we should interpret this symbol A sub 0. You will immediately say, sir, this is equal to 1. Hold on. There is uh, uh, something more than that that I'll tell you today. Let me tell you, first of all, why uh, I'm making this video. Uh, yesterday, I was discussing about a problem um, with uh, uh, some of my Facebook friends in a page uh, whose name is Mathematics, in a Facebook page, Mathematics. The discussion started with the topic of how we can prove factorial 0 is equal to 1. Then with, uh, with certain points, uh, people said how it can be proved. But let me tell you, I, I feel, I, I, I think that logically, since I'm a student of pure mathematics, logically I think that factorial 0 equal to 1 cannot be proved. It's purely an axiom. Similarly, a to the power 0, as you say, is equal to 1. As we all know, uh, uh, popularly, a to the power 0 is equal to 1. Immediately, it comes in our mind. If anybody asks you how you can prove a to the power 0 equal to 1, we cannot prove it. This is simply an axiom with a story behind it. That story I'll tell you today. Now, when I said this in that group, uh, one, one of my uh, friend there, uh, Christopher Pra, told me that, okay, fine, uh, you are saying, whatever you are saying, can you make a video and post so that we, we can understand what you are trying to say or what is your logic? So that is the reason of making this video. In this video, I will tell you how I understand or interpret this symbol A sub 0. What is the meaning of this? Uh, whether this is equal to 1 or what? If it is equal to 1, how you can prove or can you at all prove A to the power 0 equal to 1? I'll tell you all these things in this particular video. But before that, yeah, to get the answer, uh, you have to watch the full video, let me tell you, and uh, carefully. Watch everything carefully because uh, uh, things will be a bit weird. You might feel that uh, he is saying things which are weird. Uh, a to the power 0 equals to 1. We have seen the proof in a lot many places. We know it uh, uh, from so many days. So it is absurd. So hold on. Watch the full video. And uh, then at the end, uh, you will get to know what is my logic. So uh, before I, I, I start saying what is a to the power 0, let me quickly uh, uh, define a few things. Uh, let me quickly define few things. So the first one is, what do you mean? What do you mean when you write a to the power n? or a sup n. a to the power n is a popular popular way of saying this thing. Uh, uh, you can say a superfix n or a sup n or a to the power n as it as it goes. So what is this? This is defined as equal to a operated with a operated with a etc up to n many times. many times. And what is n? Of course, this n is a natural number. Suddenly, uh, to define this n has to be a natural number. So, this n is a natural number and a to the power n is defined in this way. Now, remember, the whole crux of the matter lies in this definition. What I have written? I have written a operated with a, operated with a, etc. operated with a n many times. Now, this is just an operation. So, what, uh, what will be the value for a particular choice of A from a set? What is A? A belongs to any set. Say A belongs to any set S. So, for a particular element chosen from that set S, what will be A to the power N? That will depend on categorically what is your A you have chosen and what is the operation you are defining on that set. And this N is a natural number. That means the value of N can be 1, 2, 3, etc. So this is the definition. For example, if we consider our set S to be the set of real numbers R, and if we consider 
a to be the number 2 and if we consider n to be 3 then as per the definition and, and, and if we consider the operation as usual product or multiplication then we know that a to the power n will be 2 to the power 3 that is equal to 2 the operation is usual product into 2 into 2 that is equal to 8 we all know so absolutely fine everything goes as it is now the same thing i'm changing the operation a bit so everything remains same the set is the set of real numbers my element a is 2 my n is equal to 3 my operation is the usual addition then what will happen then 2 cube as per the definition the operation start is the usual addition that means this i will replace by addition so will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 that means 6 so if your operation is a multiplication on the set r where your operation is multiplication and if your set is the set of real numbers r then 2 cube is equal to 8 if you change the operation a bit if you consider the operation to be addition then 2 cube will be 6 as per the definition of this symbol correct okay and remember here this n is a natural number means n cannot be 0 or negative so as of now this is how we define might sound weird if you say anybody if you tell anybody that 2 cube equal to 6 might tell you what you are saying but as per the definition that is it so whenever we study this kind of a symbol we need to know we need to understand what is my operation this operation is called actually mm, uh, you can search in google there is a specific technical term associated with it called binary operation that is not my point of this video defining binary operation is not my objective but you can search in google about binary operation so anyway uh, the whole thing what will be the value of this kind of an expression actually will be will depend on what is your operation so for positive integer this is defined and this is meaningful meaningful now let us see if we try to apply the same definition when n is 0 means uh, can we at all uh, can we at all apply or what we will get so uh, if this is the definition if i ask you what will be a to the power 0 what is the meaning how to define that you cannot say that a to the power 0 is 0 operated with a that is meaningless uh, we, we cannot say so the question now becomes for n being a positive integer this is okay if n is 0 then how we will interpret what is a to the power 0 okay let us see what will be a to the power 0 or how we can interpret this when our uh, uh, this, uh, this this thing a to the power 0 uh, how we can interpret it fine before that let me tell you another concept that is the concept of identity element that is the concept of identity element identity element suppose i have a set s and i have a binary operation star and any set s maybe the set of real numbers maybe the set of natural numbers maybe set whose members are not numbers set of matrices whatever i have a set s i have a binary operation star now an element e of the set s is said to be an identity element remember an element e of the set s is said to be an identity element if a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a means if you operate for all a of course for all a chosen from the set s that means if you operate any element any arbitrary element uh, chosen from the set s in which you are working with that element e you get that element back for example if my 
set is the set of real numbers and in my operation is addition then we know that e will be equal to 0 as for any a a plus 0 is equal to a and same will be 0 plus a for any particular a so the identity element in r plus the set of real numbers with addition is 0 if i change the set a bit suppose my set is the set of real numbers but now my operation is multiplication set of real numbers with the operation multiplication then clearly we know that the identity element is 1 because a into 1 in this case the operation is addition in this case the operation is multiplication and this is whatever is your operation remember i have i am writing this notation to uh, to generally denote a, 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 a binary operation so whatever is the operation in our context that is to be taken care of so uh, in case of multiplication e will be 1 because a into 1 is equal to a is equal to 1 into a for any a chosen from r here also this is true for any a chosen from r this is also true for any a chosen from r the set of real numbers so in this case the identity is 0 in this case the identity is 1 let us change the example a bit we are talking about addition and multiplication which is becoming too trivial always so let us change it a bit let us change it a bit okay let us change it a bit fine let my set is the set of all integers z and my operation is star but there are so many there can be so many binary operations or mathematical operations apart from your addition and multiplication so i'm defining an arbitrary operation say z star and my operation is say uh, for all a b chosen from this z set of integers i am defining a star b as a plus b plus say 2 a plus b plus 2 so this is my operation star i am defining in this way now be careful what will be my identity element now as per the definition of identity element we we know that if e is the identity element then a star e should be equal to a same as e star a so if i use only this part and uh, uh, since there is one equation i can find out e from this equation if i plug in uh, uh, the definition of a star b in this place so as per the definition this will be a plus e plus 2 that is equal to a a and a get cancelled so this becomes e equal to minus 2 therefore for this particular structure if you work on this particular structure your e will be minus 2 is it okay if we work on this particular structure our identity element is minus 2 now let us get back to the uh, main problem which we were discussing the problem is how we can how we can main problem Let us get back to the main problem from where we started the whole thing. Okay. So a to the power n when n is a when n is a, uh, a natural number is sorted that is a operated with itself n times. Now what is a to the power 0 how you can define a to the power 0 or uh, a sup 0 or how, how you can define this symbol you cannot say that this is 0 times a actually a to the power 0 is defined as let me tell you it is defined as 
there is no question of proving a to the power 0. a to the power 0 is defined as the identity element of your structure when you are working. In whatever structure you are working, what is a to the power 0? a to the power 0 is the identity element of this that structure. It is defined in that way. So, that means if I work on, if I work on, that means if I work on a set, the set of real numbers with addition, then for any a, then for any a, a to the power 0 will be equal to 0 because the identity element under addition on the set of real numbers is 0. If I change the operation to multiplication, then a to the power 0 will be equal to 1 because the identity element under multiplication is 1. And if I consider this z star as defined in this way, then a to the power 0 for this particular z star will be equal to what? The identity element. What is the identity element? We have found out the identity element is minus 2. So a to the power 0 is minus 2. That means for these three operations, if I fix a particular a, say my a is 2, say my a is equal to 2. That means for these, if I mark them 1, 2, 3. For case 1, 2 to the power 0 will be equal to 0. For case 2, 2 to the power 0 will be equal to 1. For case 3, 2 to the power 0 will be equal to minus 2. So, what is a to the power 0 that actually depends on what is your binary operation? We cannot prove anything about we cannot prove anything about a to the power 0 because it is a definition. It is defined in this way. Now, it might sound weird. Uh, you might, uh, if you say anyone that 2 to the power 0 equal to minus 2, <laughs> may, might laugh at you. But uh, this is this is a fact. Uh, this is how the definition of mathematics means this, this term a to the power 0 as you say or a sub 0 whatever we say is. So as per the definition, uh, this is the whole story. So you can never prove what is a to the power means uh, a to the power 0 equal to 1. There is no question of proving that. And if you apply your common sense, uh, there is no question of proving it because a to the power 0 you cannot write in this way. We understand a square equal to a into a, a cube is equal to a into a into a. So what is a to the power 0? If you cannot, uh, means uh, uh, um, if you have no representation for a particular uh, uh, expression, how you prove anything about that? That is a particular, uh, this is a definition. So you can never prove a to the power 0 is equal to 1. That is meaningless and a to the power 0 is not always 1 means any any number to the power 0 is not always 1 as you have seen uh, it can vary depending on what is your binary operation so from the next time onwards if anybody asks you what is 2 to the power 3 don't jump into conclusion that it is 8 it might be 6 also uh, unless uh, uh, you have uh, uh, means your your operation is multiplication so if anybody asks you what is 2 cube, what is 4 cube, what is 2 square or what is 2 to the power 0, what is 5 to the power 0, what is 1000 to the power 0, what is 1 lakh crore to the power 0, hold on, ask what is your binary operation, then give the answer accordingly. I hope I have been able to uh, clear my point. See you in my regular uploads of complex analysis. Take care. Bye.